sulfuric comes from eight. So to write our formula for sulfuric, we find a polyatomic ion called sulfate. It's SO4 carrying a minus two charge. Start it with the hydrogen and consider charges. The polyatomic ion, sulfate, when I crisscross, we get H2SO4. I can clearly see this is bigger than a hydrogen atom. I'm seeing one of those things we call a vocab mismatch, and I'll consider that when we start counting individual hydrogens. But here we begin with 45 grams. Let's write that down, 45 grams, and now we have our label ready of H2SO4. That gram unit says we're starting at the scale right here. This is where we'd like to go, the number of hydrogen atoms, but I've got a road to follow first before I can head out. We'll need a molar mass of H2SO4. So we'll add up an H, I'll clear screen, Hydrogen weighs one, but there's two of them. Sulfur with its atomic weight of 32. And oxygen with an atomic weight of 16, but I count four of those. So the formula weight, or the word molar mass, is 98 for sulfuric acid. If we had one mole of sulfuric acid, it would weigh 98 grams. Number unit label. Dividing by 98 brought me from the scale into the mole. When we head down to the number of particles, these particles are bigger than an atom. It's a compound. Those compounds come in two varieties. Compounds will be molecules if they're built of nonmetals, or they'll be formula units if we have a metal to nonmetal. H's, S's, and O's are all nonmetals. So when I use Avogadro, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, I must put the word molecule to correctly label the type of compound sulfuric acid is. There's an Avogadro's number of molecules of sulfuric acid and one mole of sulfuric acid. But we're not done. We want hydrogen atoms. Right now we're at molecules of acid. If I peek inside that formula, I count two hydrogens. There's two atoms of hydrogen in every one molecule of our acid. And finally, we've canceled to find the hydrogen atoms. Step one, we divide by molar mass. Step two, we multiply by Avogadro. And then step three, we'll double that to turn it into hydrogens. And let's hit that together. 45 divided by 98 times Avogadro times, oops, <laughs> times 2. And I find 5.5, look to the end of the screen, times 10 to the 23 atoms of hydrogen. Again, that big hint, it involved a little extra step. I could see that it was worth more points than the other. So there's our A plus on objective seven, two-step mole conversions.